I mean, like, holy smokes. God. Wait a minute. I can turn this into a business. Yet another reason we don't hold them in our hands. I like that. Now put up to do it again. And let's see, I'm going to do 5.2. 5.2, which would be times 2 would be. 10.4 strontium, yeah. <clears throat> strontium, and I'm going to do 10. No, it can't be that much. It'll be 1.4, which would be uh, 4, be 15, 16, 16, 2. I'm getting to think you're by a faggot. Think you're dashing chlorine, mix it with 5 pounds of sulfur. Thing is, Amigo, that's why I told you be careful. There's a reason. I can get off this forklift. What other hurdles do I need to do? Now, let's see, I already live in a town where, well, we can kind of do fireworks legally. So the police came. Yeah, Orange, ah. Uh, Collin County, Collin County Sheriff's Department. And uh, we're just finishing up a burn. So I walked out and said, well, I guess you're looking for me. He said, yeah. He says, well, what happened? Did you blow something up? I said, well, no. I tell you, that guy next door, he, he's just nuts, man. He's over there popping firecrackers and, and I don't know, he's building his own bombs and stuff. What he's doing has got to be illegal. Man, he, I was out working in my garage one day and he had his boy go out in the street and let off a firecracker for him. And it wasn't a firecracker, it was a bomb. That sucker went off and it shook my house. I, was, I could feel the concrete underneath me shaking. We had a uh, failure of one of our pyrotechnic compounds. We're doing some research on a show we're going to do. The <laughs> reason it's legal and we ain't got no cop. <laughs> I mean, I got a cornfield for a backyard. If I, I you know... If I really want to be technically really legal, I just go on the other side of the telephone lines. And I already know the farmer farmer says I can do about anything I want out in his field, as long as I don't disturb the crops. low explosives license <coughs> well god that's not going to be that difficult <laughs> after all I've not ever been convicted of a felony that you told the cops well you're right anything that I've been caught for but that's once more that relates back to uh, uh, I've never been convicted so the guy looks says oh you know what you're doing I said well I can count to 10 up here and 10 down there and I can play Blackjack at a blackjack table, if you know what I mean. So at that point, he let us go. You know, says, hey, it's getting late. It's about 8 o'clock. Can you knock it off for the night? said, yeah. Normally, I don't like to go after 8 o'clock on my tests. I'll get him back. <laughs> hey, keep it up. Keep it up, partner. We'll see what happens at 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, do everything first. No, just check and fit. So he says, okay. Heaven forbid if we had been teenagers. Probably by now, uh, whoever it is, Leon Panetta or some other fed would have been down here with the terrorist agency thinking we are terrorists getting ready to blow up a nuclear power plant or something like that. You know, you know. Of course, then again, I've never been tried. I'll never fess up that I've never been caught. But reality's coming. So now, now we got a. Now that we've got a plan set, let's see if we can actually pull one of these things off. 
We got New Year's coming. Hey, that project, let's go ahead and go on it. It's an experiment in the house. We took, uh, of all things, sockets. I got some uh, half inch impact sockets. Put an extension, turned it upside down. The clay that I told you I made, put it in there and we hammer rammed it. That worked? Hell well, yes, it works great. So let's go ahead and go on with this project. Come and get it. So, and where'd this come from? Well, I found it back in the shop the other day. I think it's a perfect fit. Jeez, oh man, and that's perfect. Oh my God, now, we don't have to do all that machine work we had to do. You okay. know how we wanted to do it? Okay. Cut it's circles? Less complicated. Oh, even better now. Right, so we don't oh. need to do this place. Huh? We don't need that? Nuh-uh. -uh. Look here, do a saw cut on this, say, uh, I'll just step aside something like that. Pop a hole in it, pop a hole in it, thread this. We can take a bolt, I'll just bolt, bolt it, it down it. like that. So you got a bottom piece and you another piece on the top. Because that'll automatically stabilize it now. Plus we got a heavy enough plate. Well, oh, that's like that. Oh, you know, you know kids. I always make it harder than what it seems. Do a live wire. I'll tell you what, I hope that stuff works for it. This thing here set up, then I'll go saw his parts off and see if I can get the holes drilled down. 